Hey everyone, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and I've got something fun for you today. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And also be sure to check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram for a lot of other fun ideas just like this one. This little bunny that I got at a thrift store has seen its better days and we are going to change all that today with some moss. This is super easy y'all. So we're just going to take this bunny and use some hot glue. I'm using the reindeer moss that you can get at the Dollar Tree and I'm just putting hot glue on and putting on moss. Now I started with my hot glue gun on low so that I would not burn myself and this worked for a little while but then after I started just using that hot glue constantly it wasn't getting hot enough and it was getting really hard for me to get the hot glue out so I ended up switching it back over to hot and that worked pretty well and it never got too hot because I was using so much of it and I never burned myself, not one time. So just be careful. If you want to, you can always use gloves or finger protectors in order to protect your hands. Um, all you're gonna do is just hot glue pieces just all over this. To start out, it's gonna look a little bit messy and that's totally okay. You just wanna make sure to kind of get it all covered. When I was working in the crevices and the little um, indentions i tried to make sure that i got hot glue in those areas really carefully so that i made sure that moss was really sticking in those areas as i got the hot glue on and i pressed the moss in i just kind of kept pressing it and forming it um tightly to the bunny and you're just going to keep doing this until your whole bunny is covered now this one took me about three bags of moss um, to do and this is just the moss from Dollar Tree like I said you can use any kind of bunny for this you can even if you don't have a bunny you can even cut a bunny out out of cardboard and cover one in moss which is also super cute stick it in a pot um, and it's adorable so I love a bunny covered in moss I just think it's absolutely precious so I just keep going until the whole thing is covered So now that the whole thing's covered, I'm going to start shaking it and I'm just shaking to remove anything that's not glued on and then you're going to give it a haircut. I'm just using some scissors to come in and just trim off all those excess pieces, pieces that are too thick. You really want to do this in order to make it look like an actual bunny. So once you start doing this, the bunny is going to start to take a little bit more shape. You'll be able to see the ear. You'll be able to see the tail. You'll be able to see where its eyes are, all of that. And you can see I'm really kind of getting in there in places where there were really big indentions. I'm trying to really get that moss kind of thinned out so that you can see those indentions a little bit better. Then you just go in and fill in. Now that you've got all these little small pieces, it's a little bit easier to just fill in some of those small little areas. So you'll just use your hot glue and just keep filling in all the spaces where you might see a little bit of that bunny underneath. And that's all there is to it. You just keep working with it, adding, trimming, adding and trimming until you're happy with the way that it looks. You could add some floral to this if you wanted to, maybe around the neck or on the head. You could even put a little bow on it. That would be super cute. I chose to just leave mine as is. I think it's adorable just as it is. This is something that is really perfect to just leave out all spring and summer long because it's not so super themey. It looks great with terracotta pots and all those types of things for spring and summer, rustic stuff, galvanized, all that stuff. This is going to look great with. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye everybody.